how you all do it. Okay then, so if you want to see how we got these into this stage, stay tuned. Grab a cup of coffee and a bacon sandwich. And let's get on with it. Right then, now all the ports are cleaned and checked. We can uh, put everything back together. If we uh, drop our uh, damping rod into the end of the tube, it comes out the bottom. Then we've got to put our uh, first circlip on. Should probably be able to do this with your fingers. Up to the first slot anyway. Then try and get it out the first slot go to the second slot there we go pull it down into the second slot then we could put our first washer on then we could put the spring on and then we can put the collar on And we have to put the uh, second circlip on. Like so. Make sure it's all secure. Not going to come off. There that is. Our first section. Done. Okay, so next we could check our collars, make sure they're all good and smooth, and if not, we we'll buy new ones. There we go, we can just slot that one on. Just push it over into its slot, and there we go. But before we do all that, We want to put the spring on inside there. You know, most people would do that, but uh, not me, I forget. <laughs> so let's take all this off again and uh, put the spring on. But I won't bore you with that. Be with me and I'll be back in a bit. Right then, back to where we was. Don't forget to put your spring on. Very easily done, although I've never done it myself. Okay, now we can drop it back into there carefully. Make sure it's springy. Yes, it's definitely on there. Right, let me do that and then we'll carry on with the next bit. Okay then, so now we can put the uh, push back on just slots on nice and easily slot our tube back in push the bush down a little screwdriver or something and uh, make sure it's sort of goes into its slot like so okay so then we can insert the uh, bolt back into the damping rod new washer on and put some uh, bread lock on the bolt carefully guide it into the tube So, turn the fork upside down and uh, hopefully at some point it will engage with the uh, connecting rod. You can feel everything turning so I think we've got it. Uh, 
and uh, I'm not using a broom handle. I'm using this rusty old spike. That's the sort of shape you would want on your broom angle, perhaps not so sharp. Just get an old shirt sleeve or whatever. Just to put round your rusty bar so we don't get any dirt inside there. Like so. Then uh, shove that down the what's it. Hopefully it locks into the hole and hopefully we can tighten it up. Here we are, we've got a bite. Uh, again, don't use these nipple allen keys because they're terrible. Right, so now we can uh, put our little contraption back together. Wait that in there. the ratchet on it. <laughs> Get it fairly tight. I'm sure there's a torque setting but uh, it don't tell me in my book. Do it. Oh, right. Can remove the nice long spike. And then move on to the next step. Okay, so next we can move on to the uh, next step, which is fitting the uh, big washer onto the top. Let it drop down and then you have to compress it and all I use is the uh, thing from underneath the sink. Just uh, pop that down there. Make sure everything's tapped home. And then next, I do believe it's the nice new seal. So let's get one of our loose seals. Put a bit of oil on it just to uh, make sure that it's not going to uh, tear or damage or anything like that. So the, the chamfer is pointing downwards. So we can slot that onto our Walk leg and it doesn't fit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh it does. Cool, I'd be worried then. Jesus. And we go carefully go down, 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 down. Push it into place. We'll get our expensive collar tool. Make sure it's all tapped home. I think that's it. Yes, that's it. I can see the groove where the uh, spring should go. Okay, then we can insert our spring. You should be able to do this without any tools, just use your fingers just to get it in there. Then just get your screwdriver and push it down into the groove. Like so. Okay, then finally we can put our nice new dust 
seal on. Push that all the way down. Push it on all the way round, but I'm going to leave mine loose for the minute because I'm going to take it off again because I want to spray paint the fork bodies. So what next? Okay then, so that's all the dun dun duns done. Let's fill these babies up with some fork oil. Cool, you gotta be careful I say that. Yeah. Okay then, so how much oil do we put in and what oil are we putting in? Uh, I'm putting Smith & Allen 10W Decent make How much am I putting in? Well, uh, it's different in both legs <laughs> Believe it or not uh, The right leg is 17 imperial fluid ounces so I've marked out on my jug where 17 is which looks pretty high but you know let's just go for it uh, let's go to the left leg as well so I don't have to show you that one where's the left leg left leg is 17.4 imperial fluid ounces so there's 0.4 more in the left one than there is in the right one makes sense no don't to be either let's take the top off I'm going to break the seal bloody hell there we go And we want 17 fluid ounces, which I've marked just there, which is about right. So I've got to fill this up to there. That seems a bloody lot to me. There we go. If we put our fork leg down now, I suppose it'll be easier to see. Okay then, let's go for it. Didn't spill a drop. that fork oil was all the way to about there. I think that's bloody right. Let's try and pump it. Oh no, it's gone down. It's going down. Okay, so now we 
put our spring in, put the tightened end of the windings at the bottom. So that goes in first. And we put our washer in. And we can put the spacer in. And we can do the odd bit. Try and force the cap back on. Just put some new oil around the uh, seal. Okay, let's see how easy this is. easy <laughs> and there we go how old is that oh <laughs> I can't even push it down <laughs> put some rag on the top Pretty good. Let's make sure there's no leaks. Please don't be any leaks. Oh no, perfectly splendid. Yes, a lot of forks have these uh, little air pressure valves in, you know, like you've got on your tyres. But uh, I don't usually bother pumping any air into them because the amount of pressure you put in there is minute so it's oddly worth doing anyway. And if you do do it, you take the risk of putting too much air in there and blowing your seals. So I don't bother. So there you go. That's how you do the CBR1000F fork leg oil change new seals new seal so there you go I don't know if you can tell but outside there's an oricon blowing uh, so that's how I did my forks simple <laughs> I won't show you the other leg that's just like 4.4 fluid ounces more than the left leg it's got this little gizmo on the side I suppose but I haven't touched that I'm not going to tamper with that unless I need to and I'll just top this one up off camera because I'm sure you've seen enough forking around in this video so I hope you enjoyed it hope it's been of some use to you please subscribe if you haven't already and press that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video and you can stay in the rodent loop so yeah, look after yourselves, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. See you in another life, brother.